Hello students, welcome to today's video of Python. I am going to start with matplotlib to design graphs in Python. matplotlib for designing a graphs let us save this video as the first content new folder Mat. This one is the first video. To start with the matplotlib, we have to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt this one is the import file after that suppose one variable is there i am taking one list to start with the content let the value is 12 9 21 and 73 suppose these are the values y is equal to another variables 2 76 12 and 34 suppose these are the values and we have to plot the graph between x and y for that we have to write plt dot plot x comma y then plt dot show these are the required documents. Let's execute the content. You can design the graph accordingly. First value is equal to 12, 2. 12, 2, then 9, 76, 9 and 76. After that, 21 and 12, 73 and 34. These are the values. Whatever the value you would like to explain, you can write accordingly. Suppose I am writing here 10, 20, 30, and 40. Suppose these are the values. Then execute the program again. These are the values. At 10, the value is equal to 2, 20, then 76, 30, 12, and 40. This value is equal to 34. Suppose I have to change the color of the line, then what to do? I can write here R for red, execute the program again. You can see the red lined graph. Suppose I am writing here O along with R, it means some circles are there at the end points. Some circles are there. If I am writing S, it means scare boxes are there at the end point. If I am writing dots or dashes here, then I can connect with the dashes. This one is the basic content. Suppose I have to enter the data from user side, then what to do? For that, I have to declare one more import file numpy as np suppose some range is there np dot a range let the values are from minus 10 to 10 and i am writing here y is equal to x scale now, what is the meaning of this? It means I am going to design 
a parabola. The value ranges from minus 10 to 9. First value is included and the last value is excluded. If I have to print the data from minus 10 to plus 10, then I have to write minus 10 to 11. Look at this one. You can print the data from minus 10 to 10. At minus 10 value is equal to 100 and plus 10 value is equal to 100. Suppose I have to design some more graphs inside this. Y1 is the first graph. Let Y2 is the second graph. Let the value is minus xk. Here we can write y1 plt dot plot x comma y2. Here we can change the color from red to green, then circles like this. Now again execute the program. You can find two graphs in the single graph and you can indicate or represent by using plt dot legend then labels is equal to Suppose I am writing upward parabola comma then the second value downward parabola. Now again execute the program. You can indicate here the red colored content represents upward parabola and green colored content represent downward parabola. Similarly, you can design some other values. Suppose I am writing here y3. Suppose third content is also there inside this graph. y3 is equal to, let us say, To multiply x, multiply x. Suppose this one is there, y3. Plt dot plot. Here we can write x comma y3. Let the third color is blue. with star. Here we can write upward parabola 2, the second upward parabola. Let us execute the program again. You can indicate another parabola with blue color. In this way, you can design the multiple contents inside single graph. I am going to repeat again. First one is import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. To indicate or to initialize multiple numbers, we have to use import numpy as np. Then whatever the equation you would like to enter, you can write y1 is equal to x square, y2 is equal to minus x square, y3 is equal to 2 x square. You can design accordingly. Then plt dot plot, whatever the values you would like to introduce, x comma y1, then in between x and y2, then in between x and y3. First is a, of a red color, second is of green color and third is of blue color whatever the color you would like to introduce you can introduce then you can indicate with the labels upward parabola then downward parabola 
and upward parabola too. You can also save the image like this. Suppose I am saving the image mat1. You can save the content. You can see here, okay. This one is the folder. You can open the content here. You can explain to the students after getting the enlarged image. Thanks for watching my video. In the next video, I will continue with sin x, cos x, and other trigonometric graphs.